Rocking and rolling here in our third to last or anti-penultimate qualification match. 36-81, Robo Raiders put a note up but comes up a bit short. Here comes 4089 Stealth Robotics with a second or third note. Not able to get that off though, and the Blue Lions will lead at 14 to two with two minutes and 15 seconds of driver controlled time in our match. Red Alliance very quick to hit the cooperation button. They want to play nice. Let's see if the Blue Alliance joins that party or goes their own way. 3588, the Talon picking up their usual position on the defensive end, now making their way back to the blue end. They do have a note in their possession, but on the wrong side of the field to score it, of course. Red speaker already amplified. 4089 Stealth puts one up and in. Ramen Robotics tried but could not connect. Now 9036 returns to the amp. And Stealth continues to hold on to speaker duties. Red Alliance closing the gap. Now just 19 to 13 in favor of Blue. Part of that due to the Blue shooters only hitting about half the time. Surf good, but Bremertron not on that particular volley. And now the Blue Alliance robot's gonna make their way back and try again. Here is Surf, no good that time either. 3681 also short. The Blue Alliance speaker is amplified, but you do have to score in order to take advantage of that bonus. One minute, two seconds, now one minute to play and technical fouls being called by our referees. That's gonna get factored into the scoring. And the Blue Alliance now just a 22 to 20, make it 24 to 21 score. And that looks like it's gonna flip flop as Stealth scores into an amplified speaker. Just like that, the Red Alliance now in the lead, 26 to 24 with about 40 seconds to play. The Talon motionless center field, unclear if that's a defensive start or a mechanical problem. I hear wheels turning, indicating it is the latter. So for the last 30 seconds of this match, it's gonna be a functional three on two in favor of the Blue Alliance, who are now working on an amplified speaker of their own. That's helped them back out to the lead, 35 to 29 now, and it's gonna be the end game. Bremertron on stage for Blue. We do have a spotlit microphone on the red stage, and Ramen Robotics able to put themselves on stage, on stage right there. Stealth dangling oh so precariously stage left, and it looks like they may have fallen to the ground before the end of the buzzer. Referees will make the final determination and we'll get you our results. Stay tuned. Scores confirmed, qualification match number 66 is official, and this one goes to the Blue Lions. 41 to 34 this time around, a very tight match and well played on both sides. Blue Lions takes two rank points. All three of those robots slipping up in the rankings, all three of the red robots sliding down. And every rank point matters as we approach the end of our qualification day here at the Bonnie, excuse me, the Glacier Peak district event.